And now, please welcome Dr. Sandeep Nima. Thank you. Good afternoon. Machine learning and artificial intelligence that you've sort of seen throughout the day today and earlier as well are becoming integral to achieving higher levels of autonomy in the real world. Mission scenarios, like the one that you see uh, as an artist's conception in this graphic, involve humans and autonomous robots collaborating together to perform real-world missions. Complex capabilities that will be needed to enable machine autonomy in these scenarios, things like perception, scene understanding, planning and decision-making, all of these require machine learning of some form or the other. But it's important to remember, and as you've seen earlier as well, that these systems operating in real-world systems are safety-critical systems. Uh, the, the graphic here is from an Uber safety incident that's been well publicized, and it just reminds us of the safety criticality of these systems. Uh, in, in such systems, errors in design, bugs in implementation, or deficiencies in training now could have fatal consequences. So the central question for our short autonomy program was, how can we assure that learning enabled systems are safe and correct, basically in the spirit of trust or the AI? So in the next few minutes, you will see demonstration of some of the assurance techniques that has been developed through this program to address this question to different degrees through applications in three different domains. First up will be our ground vehicle team that developed and demonstrated technologies for assurance in the context of autonomous unstructured navigation in ground vehicles. The traditional approach to ensuring safety may require rigorous testing and billions of driving miles. The goal is to confirm that the system will always work well enough, an impossible task due to time and cost restraints. The Assured Autonomy Program's solution to reduce the amount of costly testing required is mathematical reasoning that can symbolically analyze the AI decision boundaries. Our toolkit can analyze AI-based systems to find or prevent safety failures. We are able to compute the circumstances that could have caused these bad outcomes. An autonomous vehicle following waypoints in a simulation, although not trained to drive in challenging environments, can maneuver with relative safety. We ask our math-based toolkit a simple question. Would this neural network ever make a sharp turn left when the next scheduled waypoint is on the right. Within a couple of seconds, our math tools find a case in which this will happen. To observe those exact circumstances, we plug the scenario into our simulation and the vehicle drives off the cliff. Beyond determining that particular neural networks are unsafe, we also need to develop neural networks that we are confident are safe. The true test must be done with a real vehicle. HRL is working with the U.S. Army Combat Capabilities Development Command's Ground Vehicle Systems Center, or GVSC, to test our approach on their autonomous M-Razor vehicle. Our learning-based approach to LiDAR has been verified to satisfy mathematical correctness properties and provides improved performance over the baseline system. Vulnerabilities in the baseline LiDAR-based computer vision system might enable an adversary to prevent detection of obstacles or objects in the environment. These could be exploited to prevent detection of adversary platforms by autonomous detection systems, as follows. Interactions between point cloud geometry and intensities of returns make it possible to trick the baseline system into believing an obstacle no longer exists simply by covering the obstacle with a certain kind of tarp. Once our target is under the tarp, the baseline system no longer detects its presence. The tarp acts as an invisibility cloak. Using the same experiment on our verified learning-based approach, the target is identified correctly as an obstacle. The algorithms we developed under the Assured Autonomy program use GPU-enabled parallelization to massively speed up the formal analysis. That reduces the time required for proofs from about a day to less than six seconds. With this speed up, we're able to get better coverage of the actual point clouds we might see in the real world. Next up is our underwater vehicle team 
uh, that has done similar experiments in underwater infrastructure survey type of applications. So let me hand it off to them. I'm Rich Avila, Northrop Grumman's principal investigator for DARPA's Assured Atomi program. We and our partners developed unique tools that extend artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies for unmanned undersea vehicles. The use of these tools extended UUV technologies so that the benefits of autonomy can be realized in a robust and trustworthy manner. Assurance tools enable the use of UUVs for new concepts of operations with minimal human involvement. Autonomous system technology on UUVs enables new concepts of operations, such as long duration missions, large deployments of UUVs, and the reduction of human operator intervention. The undersea environment is constantly changing. Dynamic changes in currents, salinity, turbidity, and acoustics can confuse the UUV's sensors and control systems. Assurance tools were tasked with addressing the following missions. Ensuring correct detection and classification of sonar targets for both active and synthetic aperture sonars. Being able to maintain track and image infrastructure in a dynamic environment avoiding obstacles and navigating complex maritime shipping environments, regaining control and navigation of a vehicle in the face of a mechanical failure. The assurance tools developed provided design time guarantees which ensure that the UUV would operate within a constrained physical envelope. Monitoring tools alerted the control system when a component was operating outside the range of data within which it was trained, and monitored to detect and react to mechanical failures. Our partners created numerous assurance tools. An example tool is being shown where an unmanned vehicle is tasked to conduct a search by following preset waypoints. A thruster fault is introduced at 45 seconds. A fault diagnosis using a feedforward deep neural network is able to detect and determine the fault. With this diagnosis, the fault detection and isolation recovery tool compensates for the failure. This then allows the UUV to regain control authority over the vehicle and continue to conduct its search mission. A second screen shows the UUV completely out of control due to there being no assurance tool present. And last but not the least, uh, let me hand it off to our air vehicle team that has developed uh, learning technologies as well as assurance technologies and applied it towards different phases of autonomous flight including safe runway taxi operations and mid-air collision avoidance. We at Boeing and those across our industry are exploring how artificial intelligence and machine learning can bring game-changing autonomy capabilities to aircraft in areas including perception, decision-making, and even path planning. But we're not going to field those capabilities on our products unless there is industry acceptance and we have the technologies and processes that we can use to prove to ourselves, our regulators, and our customers that AI and machine learning technology can be introduced safely. This would include education with pilots and transparency with the traveling public. On the DARPA Shared Autonomy Program, we've had the opportunity to work with world-class teams from academia and industry to apply their assurance technologies to real-time neural net flight software that we are experimenting with at Boeing on a real airplane, implementing some very exciting prototype autonomy capabilities, with some of these capabilities being industry firsts that we've demonstrated on this program, leveraging the assurance technologies that DARPA is investing in. In one of the demos, our Boeing team partnered with UC Berkeley to demonstrate safe and assured autonomous follow-me taxi behaviors on a real taxiway at an actual airport. Follow me behavior is common at military and commercial airfields where the air traffic controllers will command an aircraft to follow either a special follow me vehicle or to follow another aircraft. In this top down view from a drone, you can see another airplane pulling onto the taxiway in front of the autonomy demonstrator airplane. The follow me behavior was also demonstrated by having a vehicle pull onto the taxiway in front of the autonomy demonstrator. Neural nets on our airplane included an object detection function telling the airplane to prepare to start moving when an object pulls in front of it. For safety reasons, we want to follow another aircraft at a further distance than we would want to follow an automobile. We also had an object classification function, which can tell the difference between a follow me vehicle and a lead aircraft. 
which we use to set the safe following distance. Once we start following the lead aircraft or vehicle, an autonomous tracking function and speed control maintain the safe following and stopping distance. Another industry first was our flight demonstration of a Boeing neural net in real-time flight software that rerouted our airplane to avoid an impending mid-air collision. In this demonstration, we also added real-time flight software from Collins Aerospace and the Kestrel Institute that was a runtime monitor of our neural net's behavior. This software took the neural net out of the loop if it was determined that the neural net route was unsafe, in which case the monitor switched in real time to a backup algorithm not based on our neural net that created a safe but less efficient new route. And now to summarize, as you saw in these demonstrations, the program has developed tools that can be used at design time to conduct formal and comprehensive analysis of the behavior of autonomous systems, including learning components. The program also developed tools that can monitor at runtime the behavior of the learning components, as well as the environment to characterize operational risks to the system and mission. And finally, a suite of resilience techniques provide the ability to degrade gracefully and recover when the autonomous system encounters unanticipated conditions in an environment that the learning components are not trained for. The tools, the tool chains, and publications that were produced out of the program are openly accessible through this community-supported Assured Autonomy Org portal. Thank you. Uh, myself and some of the performers who conducted these experiments are available to answer any questions during the break.